In this session, we will go through the 3D output formats, which are currently supported in GDL. GDL has three what we call precise output formats. These capture the mathematical NURBS data from the geometry. The first is IGES, the second is STEP, and the third one is the native SMLIB format. In addition, GDL supports tessellated output formats. This breaks down the surfaces of 3D objects into polygons, typically triangles. And those consist of X3D, STL, and Vermal. Now we'll start with IGES. Now IGES retains the NURBS data. It outputs geometric entities as a flat list, so it does not currently capture the tree structure from the GDL assembly. If we take a look at this preemie plane example, and this can be loaded with the QL quick load examples, and that will pull in the preemie plane, which we can instantiate. When we want to output 3D geometry, we really have two choices. We can output a single node in a tree like this, or we can output all the leaves of a node. And remember, the geometry for a tree hierarchy is typically stored at the leaf level. So here, at every leaf level, we have a loft, which is the actual geometry. So in order to output this, first we'll set self to the top level preemie plane, and then similar to PDF, we use a with format. So we'll say with format IGES, then we'll merge path names premiplane.igis with the temporary folder. And now in the body of our with format, we use write the as we did before. But now instead of a simple CAD output, in order to capture all the leaves of the tree, we'll use the CAD output tree. That's an output function. So CAD output tree gives you all the leaves of the current self object that finishes quickly and just to confirm self is an instance of the preemie plane this has just created a preemie plane that i just file let's take a look at that file this is the home directory and then tmp and then preemie plane that i just so it's just a text file so let's open this in emacs and this is what it looks like the underlying software that creates our IGES is from a company called Harmonyware. So there we have it, and there's all the numbers to make up those surfaces. Now, another handy tool is a nice CAD system called Rhino 3D or Rhinoceros. It's available for Windows, and a free evaluation is available, free of charge, which allows you to open and import files. The main restriction on this free version is saving your changes. But as a viewer environment for CAD files that you produce from G. GDL, this is a handy tool. File import, say we want IGES format, and there's premiplane.igis, and there we have it. Now we can shade and we can rotate this around to see that, yeah, it looks like it's come in pretty cleanly. Whatever kind of downstream analysis or other tools that are available through a CAD system like Rhino, you can apply to your geometry in this manner. So the next format we'll look at is step. We'll want to name this as a step. Now let's have a look at this file. It'll be in temp premiplane.step. And this file format is a bit more verbose than the IGES format, but it's the same basic information that's in the IGES file. So let's have a look at that in Rhino. And import, and we want to import a step. So there's premiplane.step, and there we have it. We can shade it and similarly spin it around. So this one also seems to have come in okay. And with step, we also have the possibility to add a format variable here. It's called assembly. If we output step with assembly, the result will have more assembly information. And let's name this with ASCII, with large objects inches. And we're going to import again. And this time we'll import this preemie plane ASCII, the assembly. Now it's telling us some assembly objects have been imported as Rhino nested block instances. That's because it's an assembly. And the last format we'll look at, what we call our native format, this is a built-in SMLib format. The file extension by convention is IWP, that stands for IntegrityWare Part, and let's write the CAD output tree with that format, somewhat similar to IGES, probably more compact, because this goes directly back into the SMLib data structures. The import is done with a normal define object, and it contains the specific readers, an IGES reader, a STEP reader, a native reader, or the new one, which is still under development, which is the general CAD assembly. As you can see, the IGES just gives us a flat list of surfaces, and similarly, the STEP gives us a flat list. The native format gives us a flat list as well. The surf calling colon CAD does assembly give us some structure. It's still under development to come back with an exact round tripping.